121 million people worldwide suffer from depression. If you're a parent or a friend, and if you're concerned about someone, ask them if they're suicidal or depressed. Nothing bad can go wrong with that. You're just asking them a question. Also, don't make them feel like they're being examined under a microscope. Always reassure them that you'll always be there for them whenever they need it. Don't ever make the person feel like they're a lost cause. Just remind the person that it's okay not to be okay. People don't understand that mental illnesses are just as serious as any other disease. It's as serious as cancer. Depression can lead to different forms of self-injury, such as cutting and burning. It can also lead to different forms of addiction, such as drugs and alcohol. People wonder why people do this to themselves, and they don't understand that this is their way of coping with their emotions and their problems. If you know someone who is going through this or you're going through this, know that you're not alone. There are organizations that will help you. To Write Love on Her Arms is a nonprofit organization dedicated to shedding light on the topic of depression and suicide. Their mission is to spread hope and awareness, starting from social networking sites to college speakings and also music festivals. Kristen Brooks Hope Center is another organization that focuses on suicide prevention, awareness, and education. They provide crisis hotlines, online crisis chat, a music outreach tour, and a college campus awareness events. 1-800-SUICIDE is a suicide prevention hotline. I'm Alive is an online crisis center. It's a program for people who don't want to call a suicide hotline. Everything is free and confidential. There are actually many types of depression. One of them is atypical depression. One of the symptoms is sad or depressed mood most of the day or almost every day. Loss of energy most of the day. A feeling of worthless or hopelessness or guilt throughout the day. And doctors say that this depression is usually underdiagnosed. Another type of depression is seasonal affected depression, known as SAD or SAD. This is a mood disorder that happens every year at the same time. There are two patterns. One starts in the fall and continues through the winter. One starts in late spring, early summer. Scientists believe that the sun helps create serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that helps create a soothing, calming feeling. In the winter, since there is less sun, there is less serotonin being produced. When there is not enough serotonin, it can lead to depression. It can also lead to symptoms of fatigue, carbohydrate craving, and weight gain. It is thought that foods high in carbohydrates boost serotonin and give the same calming effects on the body and mind. Signs of SAD during the summer. Decreased appetite, trouble sleeping, weight loss. Signs of SAD during the winter are completely opposite from that from the summer. Increased appetite, increased desire for sleep, weight gain, also increase of desire to be alone, lower levels of energy. Another type of depression is psychotic depression. It has the same symptoms of clinical depression but has the features of psychosis. A person with psychotic depression is out of touch with reality. They may hear voices that aren't really there or they'll come up with illogical ideas. Ideas such as people trying to harm them or people hearing their thoughts. Here are some tips for the people that suffer with a less serious case. You can write in a journal. People now tend to post on blogs more often, so you can create a blogspot, Tumblr, live journal, draw in a sketchbook. Some people like to create different forms of art. Some people find hope in the music, relating lyrics to life, and knowing that they're not alone. For more information, visit helpfordepression.com or helpguide.org.